My name is Ewan Reed. I'm the volunteer rink operator for the McNabb Outdoor Rink, and it's my fifth year uh, running the rink. This year, I opened on January 8th. I like to make the ice. I like to create something. And it takes a lot of hard work and effort and dedication. You know, you have to go out at certain times of day or night when the weather allows you to, and it's not your schedule. It's purely Mother Nature. So today's the day it snowed, and now it got cold. Now it's a good day to go out and, and make the ice. So you've you got to go and do it, even if you're tired or you want to be doing something else. I'm probably out there flooding three or four times a week once the rink's maintained. And so that's kind of three or four times a week for only about two hours once the ice is built. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of long. There's another big one there. So usually what I do is I go out towards the end of the evening when people are playing still, and I'll ask the people out there playing to scrape for me because it's the kind of thing that it takes me by myself. It can take anywhere from, you know, 20 minutes to an hour to do, whereas if there's uh, six people, eight people, each with a shovel, it takes five minutes. It's a very surreal experience to be downtown in a, in a big city of a million people, surrounded by big buildings and, and all sorts of stuff. Um, at midnight, when it's minus 20, minus 30 or something, you can see the stars in the sky and it's super quiet, even though it's the city and there's no one around, everyone's at home in bed and you know, you've put away the hose and everything's kind of done for the night. But there's this really satisfying feeling of being able to stand there and kind of look out over the smooth ice that's glistening in the water, you know, in the starlight and the moonlight. And even though you're in the city of a million people, you know, you're, you kind of feel alone with like this thing you created in the middle of the city. It's an interesting feeling. So you work really hard to make something, and yet you know that that it's ephemeral. That it, you know, it's it's not going to be around in in three months, no matter. You know, how well you make it, no matter how many people like it, no matter what happens, how it looks, it, it's going to be gone. But at the same time, between now and then, there's always people that are going to get some enjoyment out of it. Every time I drive by, it's, you know, it's right by my house, so of course I'm always coming and going, and I'll always stop and look. You know, I, I could never drive by without you know, looking closely to see who's playing, how many people are out there playing, and... You know, are, are they on the, the little puddle outside with the kids skate? Are they inside of the rink? Are they playing a big game, a small game? And what's going on? And I always want to see and I always want to kind of just keep tabs because it's, it's such a big part of my life for these two months. How each snow flank is different. Every rink is going to be different each year, even if it's in the same location. And you're going to remember certain bumps and certain cracks and texture of the ice in certain places on one rink, but it'll be different the next year. It is a little bit like art, even though it's something that's really functional. And then you know that it's going to disappear. 